Hi, Pisces. So welcome to February. For those of you uh, with a birthday at the end of the month, happy birthday. And uh, hopefully you found January's energy uh, more pleasant instead of sluggish. Some people found it just very long and drawn out and other people are like just happy to rest and have this mental space that we don't normally feel in the year. So I hope you had the latter, the, uh, the nice part. We're going to take a look at your three cards for the month, um, but I now have extended tarot readings every month that you can subscribe to. You'll see the link below if you want to continue listening to the full reading when, when you're done listening to this. Um, and you get other things when you subscribe as well, like extended reading versions of my weekly tarot as well, um, as well as other reports and astrology and stuff. So. Let's take a look, and first, of course, we're going to burn some sage. So I just want you to take a nice deep breath and visualize that this smoke is waving all around you, purifying and cleansing anything in, on, or around you, no longer for your highest good. And just let it all go to the light. I'm just smudging my cards. You can't see them, but I'm smudging my cards. Purifying those as well. All right. So here we go. Your first card. Oh my gosh, this, this card just keeps coming up. The Five of Wands. Your next card is the Six of Swords. And your next card is the universe. All right. Well, two other signs, two or three other signs had the strife card. Leo's and mm, I think Sagittarius. I got to remember. But anyway, you're not alone. There is uh, some friction in the air for a few signs this month. Now, Five of Wands is the card of strife, which means everybody is competing and comparing and one-upping and no, no, we shouldn't call it that or no, it's not that way, it's this way or it's my way. Um, so there's a lot of, um, there can be a lot of outward aggression. There can be a lot of snapping and grumpiness in the air. There can be passive aggressive tactics because somebody wants to win or wants their way. So this kind of friction means there's too many cooks in the kitchen, too many people think they're boss, too many people think the vision should be theirs. It's not enough cooperation. And so things fall apart. They don't always have to, but they often do. However, your next card is the Six of Swords, which means science, and that means everything's going to be put into Science, science. Everything's going to be broken down into details, into logic. Um, every every sign that had this card had a different solution of advice um, on how to solve this particular conflictual situation. So for you, it's the science card, Mercury in Aquarius, meaning very logical, very dispassionate, very. Um, um, cold, yeah, um, by the book, by the numbers, by the law, by the procedure, by the constitution, whatever it is, that's what Mercury and Aquarius is going to do. Although Mercury and Aquarius is also like can think outside the box, but they're going to definitely look at logic. And the science card also shows a cross and gold and the swords all meet in the middle. There's something sort of that feels like things are being put back in order in the proper way, in a way that restores things to function and things to be peaceful again. So if this is like a work situation, it's pretty obvious to see what it might be because 
everything might go, um, you know, the, the conflict arises, it's not solvable, and people go back to, okay, what is, what is the procedure? What's the standard procedure here? These are the rules. These are the law. This is what we've, this is the time frame. This is the budget. This is the cold, hard details, hon. You know, actually that message sort of came up with a different card, but it was more of a person that was going to sort of lay down the law and the limits in yours. It might be arrived at by, a, you know, collectively or by a vote, but whatever the friction is, I definitely see it disappearing and being solved. And the universe card at the end is also really good because it means like it's solved. It's over. It's not going to happen again. So whatever, is, whatever this um, solution is that you've found to the friction in your life or with others, it's going to be dealt with and analyzed and broken down into pieces in such a way that it closes the book on the conflict. Wow, that doesn't happen much in life, does it? So it's bringing things to a closure to the end of a big chapter. And um, just trying to ask myself if this is playing out in uh, relationships. Uh, like interpersonal versus work, you know, where there's no procedure and no rule book for, the, for a marriage, you know, uh, or a couple. It would also sort of say that you guys will probably put in the work and the detail necessary to really turn the page on what's bothering you so that it doesn't keep coming up and up and up, which is a wonderful, wonderful reading. So if you want to continue and hear the extended reading, you drop down below and see the, the link for Patreon. You'll subscribe and then you can get my extended videos every month and you can watch all the extended videos, not just your, your sign. And you get other stuff too. So I hope you stick with me. Otherwise, you can reach me in the links below as well for private reading on your personal situation, river-rain.com or clairvoyant medium Catherine Allen on Facebook. So I wish you a wonderful month.